Hey, good morning. Today is 16 June 2021. I got about 40 minutes to try and do this before I have to run back to work because of early release. And I don't know what that was. Now, what I want to show you is, okay, let me, okay, yesterday I repaired this model here, okay? And today I'm going to try and repair this model, okay? So this one is a Iowa uh, CSR1, okay? See that there? It says, um, but I'm going to show you, or I think I'm going to show you. Okay, I actually haven't done that yet. And this is the, the other one here, which looks like that, right? And it uh, has batteries in it still, so let's see here. Okay, so now what I want to show you is my pictures and history of this model. The CSR. Wait, did I start this? I did. Okay, so let me zoom. Oh, zooming. <laughs> well, well, no. Okay, so that, that's a good. Right, so what I want to show you is that this is a screenshot that I took. Oh, come on now. Back 11-7-2016, okay? And this is what these went, so that's uh, 2016, so November 2016. That's what these things sold for back when. There's one for 40, 45, plus 30, 92, 45, 46, and so on and so forth. All right, so much for that. And then that's another picture of the same thing, okay? And then here's a picture of the end of, I think, the model that I got. A really small picture, like that, like that. And then that's a bigger picture. And then there's that. These are not my pictures. These are someone else's pictures. Okay. Here are my pictures. This is a CSR10. Okay. This is the front. This is a CSR10L. Okay. So there's that end. This has got the. Um, Line-in radio tape, mono stereo, like that, tone, volume, and it's got shortwave, okay? So, but the example that I have does not have shortwave. That's the difference, basically. That end, nothing. And then this is a, um, this is the one that I had that I sold. So this is a, just go right up there, CSR10, actually an R10L, okay? That's the model I had. It takes six C batteries, just like the one I have here. There's the bottom. There's the screws removed. That's what looks like. It should look like on the inside. Okay, so there's that. This side here. That side there. That end. This end. And then of course you've got to take the uh, the the panel off to, to get to separate the whole thing from everything. So this is good to know. That's what. Now this is a dual motor, in case you don't know. This is a dual motor deck. That's one thing I want to point out. That's the rewind and fast forward motor. And this over here, underneath that right there, is the capstan motor. See, there it is. There's the capstan motor. And this one, like I said, I already repaired way back when. Okay, and here again, there's both motors. There's the capstan motor, and here's the... You know the main uh, wheel. So this is actually a better deck, but this has got you know a massive <laughs> logic board there to control all the functions of this. So my hope is to get this apart. Um, you know, get this one apart and clean it and put new belts in it. And like that. This also takes a flat belt, by the way, which I'll show you here briefly. Yeah, okay. If you're familiar with motors, that is a flat belt pulley, okay? So that also makes this superior, superior to the Toshiba in this regard. So there's a flat belt. This takes, it should take about that side, about a 14 centimeter belt. And that's the belt installed. I have lots of flat belts, so should be no issues to get that. There's the that there logic board, and so it's good to have all these pictures and 
when I'm racing. Okay, this I wanted to show you because this one has a off-motor uh, speed pitch control. So when I go to put the thing on, there is the adjustment for um, that. All right, and so that should be. Yeah, that's the last picture. That's okay, and that's something else. All right, so. What I want to leave you with is I want to take this and plug this in. Okay, so let me zoom out. Right? Zoom, zoom, zoom. Zoom out. All right. Tilt the camera down. Okay. This is what I had to start with. I want to show you what works and what doesn't work. Okay, so I'm using a power adapter already properly voltified and everything, and it only has a uh, DC input. It doesn't have an AC. No, no transformer inside. So we're going to plug this in. Okay, and uh, as soon as you plug it in, can you hear the motor running? Let me unplug it. Plug it in again. You hear the motor running? Okay, the motor's always running, which is wrong. Okay, now if it's in the tape. Function. So we put it on AM. Doesn't do anything. The volume control is, doesn't work at all. Tone works. But not the volume. that will take you through hundreds of Bible verses as the Holy Spirit guides and teaches you while deepening your understanding of the grace and knowledge. One cop was had a stroke. One cop had a stroke, okay? Due to the... And going back to that, just simply I'll show you this like this. The door does open, and it does have a... I don't know if you can see that, but it does have a... You really can't see that. It has a rotating head, okay? So that's all we know, and I'm going to take this apart and service it and hopefully repair it. Alright, so, and let me just take it off the thing, it's a lot easier. Okay, alright, so, there it is. Looks like that, it's been eight minutes, good day, bye bye, hope you enjoyed. And then, see if I can just pull them alongside each other, so that's what they look like together. I'd like to really get this one repaired as opposed to that one because this one here, while it does fast forward, it won't rewind. And this one should rewind fast forward and everything, but if I get the volume to work. Okay, had too much fun. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Bye bye.